Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clayton. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Lockman 556. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Today's like goal is going to be 20 likes. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. And it helps out the video a bunch. Jumping straight into the attachments, I'm going to be using the LMK64 grip over on the rear grip. For the sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, and the cons are recoil control. Over on the rear grip tuning, I'm going with negative or plus 0.65 ounces for recoil steadiness and negative 0.25 inches for spin to fire speed. Over on the under barrel, we're going to be using the OP X9 foregrip for hip fire accuracy, aim walking steadiness, recoil steadiness, and hip recoil control. The cons are hip walking speed and aimed on sight speed. The tuning I'm going with is negative 0.30 inches for aimed on sight speed i didn't really care too much about this over on the barrel i'm using the lock 12 barrel it adds movement speed and aimed on sight speed the cons are bullet velocity and recoil control the tuning i went with is 0.24 pounds to recoil steadiness and 0.26 inches for damage range so now this is personal preference. I could switch this out for a stock, but I wanted a little bit more aimed on sight speed and the Schlager PEQ box gives you the perfect amount and you could just add more. You can put the laser tuning for aimed on sight speed and you can also do sprint to fire speed, which is really, really good. And I also wanted to have a optic sight because the iron sights are good, but an optic is way better. I'm using the Slimline Pro optic and the tuning I'm going with is negative 2.32 ounces for aim down sight speed and the eye position is all the way over to close. I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. I ended up choking like two or three nukes in this gameplay. It was really, really heartbreaking, but I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to hit that like button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright, we're gonna be checking out the Lockman 556. If I'm not mistaken, we're mainly going for no recoil here. Ooh, there was a guy right behind me. Wow, just got boom. Okay, did I say? Hardpoint compromised. Secure the area. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Changing mag. Kind of nervous using this gun. Would you like? Confirming next hardpoint. Stand by. Thank you. I don't want somebody saying like some crazy stuff while I'm recording. That happened to me, I think, two games ago. I was using a sniper. Luckily, I ended up getting a gameplay with that same sniper. Like, literally, the game after. I don't want that happening, though. Teammates are allergic to the hill. I mean, I get it, I am, but. Slayed. Switching max. Enemy personnel at hardpoint. Hardpoint relocating. Stand by. No. I'm scared. Hardpoint relocated. Secure the target area. Bring the UAV online. Hostile UAV in the area. 
Watch my teammates out of the UAV. I don't want to call in my advance just yet. Scared of this building. That's a 20. T1. 22. I'm kinda scared, but I'm uh, I'm a colonist. That's a sniper. Next hard point. Stand by. If I can get over here. Switching Hopefully my teammate doesn't kill them all. It's gonna be an insane comeback. Even though I really wanted a nuke, but that's one teammate. I don't understand. It's usually I have teammates that don't want to leave the hill, or I have teammates that just don't want to play it. Fun. Gives me a chance to actually get a nuke. Is a wall. <clears throat> I'm a call and just run at them. Everybody has a has a ghost right now though. Locate the next hard point. Get ready. We're taking the lead.
16. 17. That's perfect. Gotta be really smart with this. Right here could kill me, but that's a twenty. Gotta make sure to watch my back here. Whatever, bro. Fuck. luck ever in this game how does this kid just randomly throws it and it hits me oh bro the 76 kills ggs 